I'm going to talk about static electricity. So static electricity is a very different phenomenon, but it's the same idea. It's, it's, it's electrons being exchanged. So remember here we talked about the can having surplus of electrons. Turns out electrons have a negative charge, and negative charge means that since it's got a lot of extra surplus electrons, that this can is overall going to have a negative charge. This rod, because it has less electrons, it's going to be moving more towards the positive side because it doesn't have a lot of electrons. Now if I take this little cloth and I rub it on this rod a little bit more, I'm actually stripping what few electrons are in there, stripping them away so I'm actually making this rod more positive. So, like many things in nature, opposites attract, but like things repel. So, I've got a positive charge and a negative charge. Chances are they're going to attract each other. There we go. Okay, so we see an attraction here between the can and the rod because we have opposite charges. Now, if they were both positive charges, they would repel each other. But since they're opposite, they show an attraction. Ping pong ball, I believe ping pong ball is also a negative charge. There we go, a little bit of attraction. Ooh, a lot on that side. Styrofoam peanuts, I think they probably are negative. Yeah, and sure enough, they are negative. So, positive rod, negative. So that's basic static electricity. Now, we can make static electricity a lot more fun 